<laughs> so that might be the face that I had earlier this week when I was uh, touring a slaughterhouse and a turkey processing plant. Um, so currently I'm on my preventative medicine rotation at Ohio State, and it's a little bit of a break from clinics. It's um, part of the curriculum that they take you through, all the, a lot of disease issues, um, public health, those kind of things. So earlier in the week, we went to a slaughterhouse at a prison, and it was, like I said, very, very eye-opening. It was, I'm still kind of sorting through in my head what I saw. Uh, we also went to a turkey processing plant, and again, very eye-opening on how our turkey meat's made. Um, that plant produces over 22,000 turkeys a day. So it was interesting, and... Uh, I had a little bit of a visceral response to some of it, but made it through. Um, some other interesting th things we did on this rotation, went to the Columbus Zoo and got a behind-the-scenes tour of that. And that was really cool to see. And it was really cool to see how the veterinarians there play a role in public health, too, and um, studying diseases and also um, uh, species preservation. So it was very, very cool. Um, got to do an autopsy on a chicken. That was interesting. I um, hope I never have to do that again, but you never know. Veterinarians are kind of, uh, can be a jack of all trades when it comes to animals. Um, we went to a couple different animal shelters in Columbus, and as sad as it is, it was uh, eye opening to see and um, that's the need that's there. The Franklin County Dog Shelter handles over 10,000 dogs a year. That I just still, I can't wrap my mind around that. We got to see them. And, it's just so crucial that those shelters exist. We also went to a cat shelter too, and um, I think there was over 150 cats in there that day, so that was interesting. Um, we did our final step in uh, accreditation from the USDA, which is the United States Department of Agriculture, on being able to distribute health certificates. So when pets travel across lines, veterinarians are responsible for signing certificates, so I'll be able to do that when I graduate, so it's kind of nice to have something under my belt that's um, legitimate. Learned a lot this week about uh, diseases that we get from animals. Um, they're called zoonotic diseases, and one study said that over 60% of the diseases that we as humans get here in America come from animals, so you can only imagine how important it is to have veterinarians involved in the process of of surveying those diseases, finding out where they come from, how they happen. So yeah, that was my two weeks in a very, very brief description. Um, next up's my equine emergency rotation, so I'm sure I'll have some really cool stories about horses to show you guys or tell you guys about. Um, I'm going to be a night shift, so, but it's only for two weeks. You can do anything for two weeks at a time. So I will see you guys very soon, and thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>